Welcome to NHL 20, and thanks for watching. Today, we are going to learn how to do a flip shot. Now, a flip shot is most effective in uh, shootouts, as well as breakaways, and can sometimes be the difference between winning and losing in overtime. So, let's go ahead and get started with uh, how you go about uh, doing a flip shot. All right, it's time to walk through the mechanics of how you do this. It basically involves uh, pushing three buttons, but one of them you have to hold down. So the first thing you're going to do, of course, is skate up there. That's pretty obvious. The question is, when do you initiate the move? And the answer uh, from this one is right here, right about where the uh, second hash mark is. What we're doing is we're pushing in the R3 button. And as we do that, we're going to hold back the right analog stick as we would wind up for a slap shot, okay? The only difference is we're not going to release it. What we're going to do is we're going to push the R1 button right here, and that's going to cause a flip shot. And if you get the timing down just right, you're going to score some goals. So that was how you do the flip shot at normal speed. Obviously, if you change the speed, you're going to have to change the timing as we do in these two examples right here. You know, start a little bit earlier. It's all about getting that timing down. And if you can do that, uh, you're going to be successful. Again, it's going to take a lot of practice. And like I said, this is most effective for breakaways and uh, shootouts in overtime. Probably more so shootouts in overtime. You get this down. It's going to make a difference between winning and losing sometimes. And of course, that is going to wrap this up. I am signing out. Thank you for watching, and good luck.